But what was it like, jump, that jump from Wildstone to Leeds United? Piece of cake, man. <laughs> what are you talking about? Saturday playing in front of 100, 120 people to Tuesday playing in front of 34 and a half. Is that, how, is that how quickly the turnaround that's, was? That's how quickly the, the turnaround was. It, was. it was phenomenal. It was to a point where... Oh, I'll, take you, I'll take you on a journey. So I was playing for Worldstone and initially I was, scoring, I was playing games, scoring lots of goals and, and getting a lot of awareness. And my manager, Gordon Bartlett, said to me, he, his agent, his old agent, um, wanted to have a chat with me because there was some interest from a couple of professional football clubs for me. And at 22 years old, working for RAC, I'm driving a bright orange van, like blue uniform, turning up to training in my van and, and playing a match and then going back in my van to, to go and finish off the night shift. To have the opportunity to, to then live my dreams, being a professional football player, I dropped everything and I said, this is my sole focus, this is, this is my angle, this is what I'm doing, I'm, I'm giving everything to get in there to become a professional football player. And, so he, he phoned me and he said, look, Yeovil Town, they want you. They want to sign you now. What are you saying? I said, I'm all in. Yeah. I'm all in. Yeah. Go on. How do I get there? Yeah. So like, I had my, my big A4 map. We didn't have uh, maps on the phones or anything like that back then. So I, I had a highlighter, yellow highlighter. I highlighted the route on the map, popped that on the, the passenger seat next to me. I was driving in my... Renault McGann. I thought you were going to say the RAC. No, it yeah, wasn't. It was the RAC van. I was in my RAC van. What? Bright orange RAC van. <laughs> so I popped it on the. I popped the, the map on the um, on the seat next to me. So obviously you're following where you are on the routes. When the, the road bends, you're looking. You're like, right, that's exactly where I'm at. Until you get it wrong and you like you miss a bend and <laughs> you're going like. <laughs> a nice journey. He's it? like that as well, it's, isn't it? It's, it's the it's whole not, way. Not sit on a motorway. But, from, no, yeah. no, no, no. Nice. It was painful. So I, I made it about. I made it about almost three quarters of the way there. And then my agent, uh, my agent phoned me and said, right, Palace and Charlton are interested in, and Watford are interested in getting you on loan, on, on trial, sorry. Do you fancy it? And I'm thinking, at the time, I'm pretty sure Yeovil were in League Two and the three clubs I just mentioned were in the championship. And I'm thinking, what? what? No disrespect for Yo uh, to Yeovil, but... See you come later. On. Yeah. Come on, come and on. And breaks on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I headed back and the following day I was at, at um, Charlton and it went well, didn't get anywhere. Um, I was a little bit raw still, trying, but you know, I, I knew I was raw. I knew I wasn't up to the required standard that I saw there. Um, went to Palace, played, um, played one or two resi games, scored a couple of goals, but again, I was told, listen, Keep working hard. You're doing really well. That old, that old chestnut. Like yeah, yeah. you're not good enough, but you know, yeah, you keep, you keep going, hard, mate. Yeah. Good luck. All right, pal. And then um, went to Watford, and I was meant to be there for a week. And after the first day, Eddie Boothroyd had said to me, "Listen, I've got a contract here. Sign it. Call your agent. Tell him to come down here, and you know, um, tomorrow you'll be a professional football player for Watford." Wow. I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, ha! I'm still in my orange RAC <laughs> van, by the way. <laughs> That's down over London. <laughs> Listen, I've got a fuel card. This is yeah, free. Yeah, I could yeah. go anywhere. So um, I phoned my agent and he was like, listen, that's incredible. Congratulations. Well done. This, that's dream come true stuff. Like, well done. You deserve it. However, Leeds are interested and they, they don't want to take you on trial. They want to sign you now. Like, and I thought to myself, damn. Where are I'm, Leeds? In the Prem? Champ. In the Champ as well. One place above Watford. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm thinking to myself, right, well, how do I get out of this? Because I've, I've said to A.D. Boothroyd, listen, yeah, of course, man, I'm, I'm in. Like, oh, no. no problem. Awkward and conversation. It's awkward, yeah. And I said to my agent, listen, how, how, do, I, how do I get out of this? Mm. Like, I need to be the nice guy because like, I can't be horrible. How, like, how, do, be I, honest, how do I deal with this? Yeah, and he said, that's what he said. He said, look, just be honest. I'm sure you'll understand. So um, ended up um, speaking to him and, and he understood, obviously, but I'm like, well, you know, Thank you anyway for the opportunity. I've, I've appreciated it. I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed the day and, you know, I had, I had a lot of great fun. Um, still, fr still friends with a couple of boys from, uh, well, now even, mm. from, from my time there. Yeah. So I hit the motorway up to Leeds. Um, I left my RAC van at home. I'm in my Renault Megane now. Yeah, <laughs> yes. rolling. Up the road. <laughs> up the road. 
I had three hubcaps, I had a couple of dents in the back. <laughs> it was a mess of a car, but I loved it and, yeah, yeah. and I worked hard for it. And um, turned up to Four Parch and I'm seeing Aston Martin, I'm seeing Bentley and I'm seeing like all these beautiful cars and I know for a fact all these boys have done really well for themselves. They've got, they got decent money in the bank and all that stuff and I'm, I've got about 60 quid in my bank account, I'm ready to get overdrawn. Like, I just about made it up to, to four parts with my car. It was rattling. Got out, looked around, I was like, geez, this is mental. I've made it. I've made it. I can't believe I'm here. Yeah. And then my dad said to me, mate, that's amazing. You've done really well, but just so you know, you haven't made anything. You haven't made anything. Yeah. Your journey starts now. This is where the hard work starts. And um, I just took every day as it was my last and Played for I 15 did okay. Years. 15 mm. years later. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I did okay. You did very well, mate. <laughs> to listen to the full episode of Lifting the Lid, the official Emirates FA Cup podcast, hit the link in the description or click on the card on the screen and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts.